guys, Lily here. Today we're just going to be doing a really cute and fun design. It's very easy, perfect for short nails. So, what the things we're going to be doing is we're just going to make it look a nice, like, I don't know how to say it. Like a nice, just like, you know, um, plain nail. Okay. I, my thumb got cut. Let me show you guys. Uh, uh, right there, so I will not be doing it on my thumb. That is like a really big chunk out. It hurts. Out, 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 out. Okay, so let's get started. Your first step is to take your thing. I'm going to be using Caribbean Frost by Wet n Wild Wild Shot. And I'm also going to be using um Chrome by Wet n Wild Wild Shine. And I'm going to use these two. Um, it's a really nice mix. I will show you guys what I mean by mix. So let's get started. Right here. Okay. I'm going to sit down so I can make sure the camera can see my hand. Sorry. Okay. Sorry about my thumb. I would do it on my thumb, but I'm going to do it on all my nails. You're going to start off with a light color on the bottom. Okay? One light, thin layer. So like I said, once again, very thin. Thin, thin. But make it, like, you know, opaque. Sorry, I'm trying to get some out. Um, I really like this color. Add yeah, a little extra now. So I'm going to do all my fingers because I want to have matching fingers. This is really pretty for parties or something. No, I'm not going to do that hand because, uh, yeah, I am. Okay. So continue that. So now that that is done drying, you will take your green, which mine is Caribbean Frost, put it up, and then I had to put a little bit more on this finger, so we'll come back to it. Put one thin layer covering all of the chrome, but it should still be able to be seen, not notice, but you will not be able to see the silvery color in it. Next step, your next nail. This nail has now dried, I've noticed. So, like I said, make sure your whole nail is covered. Just a hand down, I'm sorry. Now, the next step is to just kind of put a blob on every single one of your nails. The first step was optional. Okay. Wait about two to three minutes.
or at least as long. As now that, that is a little bit drier, I had to re-put the dots on because it, I, I kind of kind of did something. So then, taking this. You're going to want to take your little um, dotting tool or a pencil. Take which one I'm trying to find one. No. Mm, dotting tool over here. Taking it, just sweep it forward, okay? This one had a hair in it and it ruined it, so. Now, taking your silver again, putting a little driplet on the paper. Sorry, my dad's eating it and he's watching the, um, the Super Bowl, which I don't care about. We watch it for the commercials. They're hilarious. Done. I hope this all works. So I'm just going to align, sorry I'm doing something a little bit, I hope works. Yeah. Okay, now to add the color, or er, some like, design to it. I'm just going to kind of put a, sh a light stripe going around the dot from like one half to the other half. Like put a big blob and then swipe. And I'm going to do that twice. Big drip, swipe. 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 So, that's all for today. I'd like to um, have a shout out to Dear Natural 62 She really gives me, uh, she hasn't really gave me any ideas, but um, she just um, inspires me to do some really, really pretty nail designs, I think. That I, I, I mean, I haven't done them on camera and stuff, but, um, you know, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.